Hi, my name is Brian with The Fearless Man, and I want to talk with you today about the power of being decisive. Let's take a look at being indecisive first. Let's take a look at why it's actually so unattractive. Now, picture yourself on the street, and you see a beautiful woman. Maybe it's the prettiest girl you've seen all day, all week, all month, and you hesitate. You hold back. You're not sure. Maybe you don't approach her at all. Maybe you do approach her, but there's just fear and anxiety built up because you're hesitating so much. Or maybe it's the opportunity to take that first kiss and you just can't seem to get over that hump. Or when you do it, it's you're freaking out inside. Or maybe it's that chance to move to the bedroom. And you have this chance to just pick her up, take her into the bedroom, but you just don't do it. You see, decisive men get a lot more action. Decisive men get a lot more results in life, in anything in life, with women, with success, with career. Decisive men get all the rewards. And indecisive men, well, they get the leftovers. They get what they settle for. See, their indecision gets them not much at all. And changing this part of your life can be the most powerful thing that you ever do. Let's take a look at this from an evolutionary standpoint. Imagine you were a woman in a village many, many years ago. Maybe it's 200, 300, maybe it's a thousand years ago. And you had to pick your partner. You had to pick a man. I mean, who's going to have the best chance of giving you powerful offspring? Uh, who's going to have the best chance of keeping you alive? Who's going to get the, uh, who's going to have the best chance of getting food when he goes out to hunt? What about getting a shelter built? It's going to be the decisive man, the man that can step into tension and take action and make stuff happen. You see, an indecisive man could be dangerous. He could be the guy that hesitates just at the wrong moment because that ends up getting himself killed, getting her killed, getting basically her provider killed, and getting her babies killed. And this is a really important point to look at. Women are triggered into attraction by the power of a man's ability to step into tension and take action, i.e. make a decision and go for it. Not hesitate, but go for it. So do you practice taking action? Do you practice going for it, even with the little things? Because in truth, you don't have to go out and, and hunt for dinner anymore. You don't have to uh, fight in combat and slay enemies in the, from the next town or the village. You just have to step in to and take action. Do you go for it? Do you walk up to the pretty girl on the street and show her that you're a man of action? Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of the book Think and Grow Rich. It was a book written by Napoleon Hill uh, many, many years ago. I can't even remember what year, but it's one of the oldest personal growth books there is. And in this book, Napoleon Hill spent about 20 years meeting with, studying, following around the most successful people of his time approximately 500 of the world's most successful people. And what the book is, it's a study of what made those people the most successful in the world. He has a whole chapter in that book dedicated to decision, dedicated to the idea that the most powerful men in the world make decisions quickly and change their minds slowly, if ever at all. He notes this in people like Henry Ford. You can also see it today in people like Steve Jobs. Pretty much any successful person you meet makes decisions quickly and changes his mind slowly. This is particularly true with any guy that's really good with women. Matter of fact, almost every guy I've met with women that is really good does not hesitate. He goes for it. He knows what he wants and he goes for it. He does it in different ways, but they all have that ability. And what I find is that guys that don't get a lot of action, that don't connect with women, don't get dates, have the biggest problem with hesitation, have the biggest problem with going for it. So why is this? Why do men hesitate today? Why do men hold back? Why do men stop when the opportunity is right in front of them every day when you walk out your door? I mean, just look outside. Look, look at the local mall. Walk into, the, uh, walk into town and notice that there are beautiful women, at least in most cities, everywhere. So then why do we hesitate? What holds us back? And the answer is tension. See, we're afraid of the tension. We're afraid of the buildup of tension. Every time you make a decision, an actual decision in the moment to go for something, tension starts to build. Think about it. As you start to walk towards that blonde, tension starts to build in your body or your brunette or whatever it is, whatever you like. But as you start to walk towards her to say hi, you're starting to actually put something on the line. You're risking being seen, not just by her, but by other people. And you're also risking the unknown, how she's going to respond to you. And until that becomes a known, you won't feel comfortable. And by doing that, by letting that tension build up, there's a part of your body, because it's unknown, because it's unfamiliar, and because there's a chance for rejection that wants to reject it, wants to push it away, 
But the men that are best with tension in this world, they love stepping into tension. They love the buildup of it. Matter of fact, they even get turned on by it. So think about the men that women are most attracted to in modern society. Men in uniform, men on stage, famous leading actors, and firemen. I love to use firemen as an example because they're the perfect example of the epitome of what a woman gets attracted to. Here these guys are that are selfless. They have to stay perfectly present, step into tension, and go into burning buildings and risk their lives to save other people and to, to basically be completely selfless, self, selfless, be completely giving. And in that, it's the perfect demonstration of the ability to step into tension. And a lot of these guys love what they do. They're passionate about saving lives, helping people, going for it. No wonder women go nuts over firemen. Just think about it for a minute. From an evolutionary standpoint, he is the epitome of the guy that would be the perfect provider a thousand years ago. He can handle the shit when the shit hits the fan. Where do you land in this category? Uh, in this, in, do you, are you a guy that's kind of decisive, somewhat decisive? Do you make decisions quickly but then change your mind a lot? That's going to be a real problem. Do you make decisions slowly but then stick to your decisions? Or do you make decisions quickly and go for it? I'm going to invite you to start looking at the way you look at life, the way you handle life, the way you handle decisions. Think about guys that are really trying to reverse engineer this stuff, that are trying to get good with women without building a powerful relationship to tension inside their own bodies, powerful relationship to their own presence, their own personal power, their own ability to deal with the shit and the shit it's a fan. So what these guys are doing is they're developing routines, patterns, things to say so they have it all ready to go. But they're not developing the feeling within themselves, the part of them that knows how to handle it where they don't need a routine, they don't need a pattern. And that's easy to develop with a little bit of time and practice because when you get that developed, not only will you know what to say, You'll find that when you say nothing, it has a powerful effect because your presence will do a lot of the work. That you can say stuff that nobody else can say and yet girls still seem to like you. So I'm going to give you an assignment to start understanding this a little bit more. For the next 24 hours, I want you to write down everything you do throughout the day. And if you can, go 48 hours and start to notice where you avoid decision, where I uh, attention, where you avoid stepping into a decision and going for it. Or if you do make a decision, do you take a long time to do it? Put a little note next to it. How quickly did you make that decision? And start practicing making decisions faster and noticing where the tension or the resistance is and stepping into it quicker, going forward a little faster. Start also noticing where you make the ultimate decision not to step into the tension. Now you don't have to go nuts with this. If there's a pretty girl standing over there and you want to go say hi to her, maybe saying hi to her is way outside your boundaries. But can you ask her the time? Can you ask her directions? Can you walk by her and just say hi as you go by? Something simple and then push yourself and then the next time a little bit more, the next time a little bit more. But also notice all the other places, like when you order dinner, you send food back because you don't like it or you're too scared to. Do you, um, do you, pull, do you hold a door open for a girl or do you feel like, I don't want to do that. You know, I'd feel weird walking over there to open the door for her, something like that. Notice where all the little tiny places are that you avoid attention. And those places are going to be some of the easiest to fix and change the way you appear quickly. And they're going to be some of the most valuable. But you have to do it consistently. Because if you don't get the feeling inside of you, of the, the feeling of the type of guy that loves to step into tension, the, feel, the rush you get from it, because you will start getting a rush from it if you do it right, then you're... Uh, then you're not going to stick with this. But when you get that rush, when you get it, and you start to develop it, you'll start to develop the mindset of the type of guy that actually rushes towards getting up in the morning and going for it, that steps into life, that loves to live life, that loves to go for life. And that's a very, very powerful come from. It's a very attractive quality for women to see in a man on a regular, daily basis. So I'm going to invite you to take that action, to do that, 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 um, that journal, basically hour by hour, day, uh, moment by moment journal, if you can, hour by hour, let's say half hour by half hour, just writing down where you step in attention, where you avoid attention, and how, uh, how it's helping you, how it's helping you to grow, and start noticing those places. And as you notice those places, you'll start to wake up, because some of you are avoiding a lot of tension. You're having opportunities around you all the time. You gotta be really honest here, not lie to yourself. Because if you lie to yourself, the only person you're cheating here is you. Because the truth is, what makes a man attractive is not the way he looks, not the way he 
he appears, you know, is he a gorgeous, sexy, tall model? Yeah, that'll get the door open. But what really makes a man attractive, what makes the, what makes those guys that you think should never be able to get a woman, get that that beautiful blonde or beautiful brunette or whatever type of woman you like on his arm, it's because he's powerful with tension in some way, shape, or form. He's grounded, he's solid, he can handle it, and he knows how to go for it. He doesn't need a, a slew of routines and patterns in his, in his back pocket either. He doesn't need to memorize anything. It's just who he is. It's who he is, and it comes off even when he's saying nothing.